Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the NBA two-game slate for this evening. Uh, just a little heads up, uh, I'm probably not going to be around a little later to update projections. I put something up now, um, but if there's any major news uh, as far as uh, injuries or anything like that, it's not going to be covered, I don't think. So if for those of your premium subscribers, you probably have access to the Sabre Sim projections, you can use those. If there's any big change, otherwise you could you could rely on these for the most part. And it is only a two game slate. So there's it's a, it's a little less about the projections and a little more about figuring out where to where to ignore them, if that makes any sense. Um, so what we're looking at here is my um, is my my value rankings. And I guess the first thing to note is that is that Luca is just in, an insane standout, right? And it, it's one of those where, you know, if he's actually only 47% owned, I think that's going to be a little bit, a little, uh, a little too light. Um, I do think you probably want to lock him in. It's just way too many fantasy points to concede, you know, when you're, when you only have basically maybe 25 players total to choose from. I mean, in two games, how many how many players are really in play? At most, eight from each team, so maybe thirty players total. And he rates to score fifteen fantasy points more than everybody. So it, you just have to play him. That's that's my opinion at least. Um, I mean, you could do stuff like fade Harden though. Like, uh, look at Harden and Harden is, um, you know, at sixty percent ownership. I mean, that's something that you can fade. I mean, when's the last time you actually really did anything? That 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 really smashed. I mean, he's just not the same guy uh, with this team. If you want to know the truth, um, so that you could fade if you wanted to get different and go just go straight down to play Booker. You know, um, that 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 would that would make sense, right? Um, you are giving up something, but I do think that the projections on on Harden might be a little. Might be a little fishy. I don't know. I, I, I just, um, I think that's probably where I would want to start is to just, is, is running a whole bunch of lineups and then Xing out hard. I mean, that, that's, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing if you want to know the truth. Um, and then we look down here, Tobias Harris. See, that's what you could do. You could play Tobias Harris instead of Harden. But he's 43% old. Maybe you go to Maxi. But even him, you're not really getting anywhere. Butler, if Butler's actually going to be 15% owned, I mean that that's I mean this is what you want to do. I mean you want to play, you want to play Booker, and then you want to play Butler, and then you want to just move on from there. And then again, this is this is real literally the way I do this is I look at Aiton, and he's only 20%, and he's in the same range. So maybe what I'll do is something like lock in Butler with Aiton, Booker, X out Harden, X out uh, Harden, and then roll. And if you play Luca though, you probably can't play all of these guys, right? I mean, I'll give you an let, let, let's let's see what it looks like I mean, just for just for fun. Hold on. Let's let's pull up a. Let's um. Let's pull up a DraftKings lineup and, and let's just see what happens. I mean, how many can you really play? So let's say Luca, and then let's say you did want to play Booker. So far, so good. Can you put a second one of those guys in? Who did I mention? Aiton. Let's put in Aiton. So you could still get away with it if they're good 4,400s. If you go with Luca, Booker, Aiton, and Fade Harden. I think if you pay up, go up to Butler. I think you're probably asking for it. Let me just see. Well, obviously you can't play all of them, but if you play Butler even instead of Aiton, now you're at 4120 per man. So now you have to look and really see where the value is. So let's do that. Let, let's um let's go uh let's go back into that page and let's sort everything just by point per dollar. Just hold our nose and see what kind of value exists here. And the answer is, oh God, not a lot. <laughs> Um, Paul, I mean, as far as points per dollar, I, Paul Reed's the cheapest guy that's viable. 
and he's 4,900. Now you're down to Kleber and all the, they are not making life easy on us at all. Um, so, so maybe you can't even play two of those guys. Maybe you could only play Luca and one of those guys. How are people going to build? I mean, what, what are people going to do? How is Harden, how is Harden going to be 60% owned? And Luca 50? I mean, you can't play these guys together, right? Without playing these three Ks, which are just really, I mean, I mean, these are terrible. So what are you going to do? You know what? Let's let's see. How about that? Let's let's run. Let's run a um, a saber sim build with my projections, and let's see what these lineups look like. I'm imagining they're going to look really ugly. Let's just see. And just for the fun of it, I, I am going to build 150 just to kind of see. Because I, I am not a believer in, in, in the fact that, that Harden could be 60% owned. And also Luca, for example. I just don't think these ownerships add when you actually build lineups. Let's take a look. Let's build 150 lineups and let's see really how owned these guys are. Because I, I, I literally don't believe this, that you could build with all those guys. All right. So here, and this, and here's the reality. The reality is, is that you get only 6% Luca. <laughs> And, and that 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 is that's the reality, okay? Because as I mentioned, the value on this slate is extremely poor, you know. So so to build these lineups, this is what you end up with. You end up with that's and that's why you end up with Harden actually, is because you end up not playing Luca that much because you just can't afford him. You know. This is this is crazy. This is a crazy slate, actually, for a two game slate. I think that if you really want to build, you probably want to toss Luke in, maybe also hard. How cool is that? I just want to do one other thing. Let me let me build it. Let me instead let me let me rank it by not even by saber score. Let me rank it by by projected score and see if that changes anything. It doesn't even change anything. It doesn't even get me more Luca. If I do that, the way that these guys have all been priced up, even for a two game slate, this is, this is awesome. Actually, it really does price Luca out of, out of the slate. It's amazing. Unless, unless you want to just, just gamble, gamble on those three K's and accept that maybe you get some zeros. Or, or fives. Boy, I, I actually might have to play tonight. I mean, this is this is going to be fun. Wow. All right. I, I guess that's. I think I think I've uncovered something in the, in the short preview that's worthwhile. I think that you can build, and this this actually is a good. And listen, I think there are good saber sim and good optimizer slates, and I think there are shitty ones. I think this is a good one because I, there's no way that I would come up with this idea on my own. It's just a fade Luca. Because when I look at it, even on an individual basis, it looks like Luca is, is, is unfadeable, but it's almost as if he's unplayable. This is nuts. Um, all right. So I never thought that this would happen, but a two game NBA slate has actually caught my attention. Uh, I'm going to look a little more about this and, and probably post in discord a little bit later, but I think it is shaping up to be kind of a cool slate. Um, I guess that's going to do it. Uh, good luck, everybody. And again, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it back and update the projections, but I think that the concept kind of stays um, is that you probably want to fade the Luca, even though he rates to be the highest projection points by about 10 points. Ouch. All right. Good luck. We'll see what happens.